I think that insects play a bigger role in the ecosystem, actually compared to large mammals. Our vision is not microscopic, it's not small. You tend to appreciate big things. But then everything is made of something small so that it grows into that big thing. And insects, small as they are, play such a huge role. You think about it, actually. You think about it. Insects are responsible for keeping the planet going. By studying insects and by being curious about them, it really gives us an understanding of not just the insects themselves, but what's going on in the world. I'm Dino Martins, uh, the director of the Impala Research Center. I am the chair of the insect committee at Nature Kenya. One in three bites of food that we eat as humans is thanks to a pollinator. If we think about our diet today, we have things like all the different fruits and avocados and berries and coffee and chocolate. And these are really important parts of the world's diet today. And no pollinators means basically no food. In Africa in particular, wild insect pollinators are responsible for over 99% of the pollinated food that's produced. My name is Ivy Niru. I am a student and a senior research assistant in the Insect Plant Interaction Lab at Mpala Research Centre, Kenya. We go to the field with sweep nets and we capture adults that are looking for love. This is called patrolling. Haki, kichukusi, catch, catch it. Now run, run, run! We've got two already. This is a queen. We capture them and then we bring them back to the screen house and we put them in breeding cages. And inside there, we have cultivated milkweeds. This is our Soniro, River Soniro. I like this spot because we have milkweed. We come and scout for eggs and larvae, and I just found a larvae on that bush over there. So the African queen female deposits her eggs in the milkweed, and the egg hatches after about three days, depending on temperature, and then the larvae feeds on the leaves, sequestering the toxins that the, that the leaf normally produces. So if you feed on it, you and I will get sick. Another bird out there will get sick, but the butterfly doesn't. Habitat loss and consequent loss of the milkweed would mean that the butterfly, which has taken many years to evolve this plant, will lack a, a food source. And without a food source, unfortunately, then you will not have a population of the, of the queen butterfly. The herbicide use is an issue. It's an issue everywhere, globally. Farmers hold the future of the world in their hands. A farmer makes decisions every day that are not just relevant for their farm and their crop, but have impacts that spread across the planet. By choosing which pesticides to use or using them carefully, not using them when pollinators are present, a farmer can actually complement the effect of the pollinators and these have repercussions across the whole ecosystem. In East Africa today, there are over 3,000 different species of butterflies. Most of them occur in forests, and these tropical forests, rainforests, and highland forests in Kenya in particular are incredibly endangered. And one of the solutions that we've come up with at Nature Kenya is using butterflies and using biodiversity to support livelihoods. A great example of this is the Kipepeo project. Kipepeo, which means butterfly in Kiswahili, involves local farmers and communities in raising caterpillars and breeding them on food plants and then selling the pupae to centers around the world. And over the last few years, it's given over a million dollars back to these rural communities. So the conservation of biodiversity today, including insects, 
needs to be linked very directly with livelihoods because we can't expect people who are not able to fend for themselves or feed their families to care for the environment in the same way as those who have the resources to do so can. I cannot insist on how important it is you know, to conserve our environment. You know what to do and you're educated, you're conscious about how your, your activities affect what the environment in which you live and consequently the environment in which someone else will come days and years later. And it will be important for us to leave a positive footprint and that way you can change the world.